Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Main Machinist. Today I'm working on something a little bit different in my shop. I, uh, Besides machining and riding buggies and farm tractors and all the different stuff that I do, I really like to mess around with some of these older computer systems. I've got uh, this old iMac behind me. The computer's playing itself on uh, Star Control 2, if any of you remember that game. But uh, I, today I picked up a Commodore 64, an original Commodore 64, and uh, I'm going to be going through that machine I'll share some videos with you as I go through. If you're interested in that stuff, make sure you subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos I have in my machine shop. But um, before we can really use this Commodore, there's something that you need to check on if you pick up one of these old computers, and that is the power supply. The power supplies on these older Commodores, and really any older electronic, should be suspect because as they age and they begin to fail, they don't put out the correct voltage and it can damage uh, your computer. So this could also apply to older CNC machines, uh, NC tape machines, anything else that uh, you might use in a machine shop or in your home or whatever. This is a pretty typical power supply on a C64 computer. This is an original one. I have a couple of these kicking around. I'm going to show you how to test one here. On the back it does give you the both the input and the outputs and what we're going to look for today is if you look right here it says output 5 volts DC on pin 5 and then it shows the 9 volt on pin 6 and 7 9 volt AC that hardly ever fails you don't worry about that what we're concerned with is the 5 volts DC on pin 5 and we need to check that because as these begin to fail they'll put out more than 5 volts DC and it begins to overload the chips in the computer and it can cause a lot of damage and even destroy your C64 so I have a setup here that I use for checking these and uh, basically what I did is I just took a drill press vise right here to hold the connector so that as we test everything we're not juggling and messing around trying to hold the connector in our hand while we're putting the leads from the multimeter so before we test this let's take a look at what we're going to be looking at for voltage and the ranges and what uh, that has to say about the state of your power supply. As you look at your particular power supply, you may find some differences. There are other models of power supplies depending on the year of manufacture or the country of origin. They all basically work the same, so don't worry if yours looks a little bit different. So on the C64 wiki page, we can see what we're looking for here uh, and what I'm highlighting. The normal function of the power supply is 4.95 to 5.1 volts. 5.1 to 5.2 volts is a minor concern. 5.2 to 5.5 means that the power supply is failing. 5.5 to 6 means that the computer is in imminent danger. And anything over 6 volts, you need to just toss the power supply immediately. Do not plug it in or use it. There's also a page on the power supply connector itself. You can check that out for more information on your power supply. So as we saw from the Commodore 64 wiki page, we're going to be testing pin, these two pins right here. And this is the top of the plug, you can see with the, the partial crimp there. So these two we are going to test. To start I'm going to turn my multimeter to 20 volts DC. Now going to connect the leads. And as you can see, the reading is 5.19 volts. So going back to our chart, we can see that 5.1 to 5.2 indicates a minor concern, and it says to measure the power supply more frequently. I would recommend just buying a new power supply so that you don't have to keep checking your old one. You never know when it could fail further and damage your computer. So I hope this has been helpful, a quick way to test your power supply if you pick up an old Commodore 64 computer. Uh, make sure you subscribe, share these videos, and check out what else I'm doing in my shop.